Late in the third millennium BC, Canaan. Look ahead! This Nietzsche is burning! Should we go round? Nonsense! We fly straight through! What has happened? I'm losing control! The engine is dying! No fear! It is stupid, after all, to die so needlessly a hero's death. My wife! My poor wife! Good sir! What is the matter? Brush! Mine coming down! Of course! for some sport. Oh, Joseph, thank God in heaven I am free. Well... Ja, 
Start spawn! Of course! My dearest Sophia is safe! Coming down. Freiherr Richthofen, my friend. I wouldn't think of. Jawohl. Sehr gut. Of course! Welcome to the ancient world. 
You are about to found the civilization of Phoenicia. As it has been throughout history, your civilization will be built by its citizens. Citizens construct all the buildings and gather all the natural resources that are necessary for a civilization's survival and growth. In time, you will learn to have them hunt, forage, and harvest all the food your new nation requires. Your civilization's story begins on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. Three citizens, standing among the local Canaanites, await your instructions. Select all three by left-clicking on the ground near them. Good work! To move your citizens or any selected units, you simply right-click on the map where you want them to go. Due west of your citizens is a hill with a flag on it. This is where your citizens will start to build their civilization. To find the hill, move your mouse pointer to the left edge of the screen. The map will scroll in that direction. Scroll the map over to the hill. You can also use the minimap at the bottom right of the screen to help you find the hill. The minimap is a representation of the entire map. It is mostly black because you haven't explored much of the map yet. But the hill is visible as a greenish spot near the center of the minimap. Once you have found the hill, order your citizens to walk to it. Make sure your citizens are still selected, and then right-click next to the flag on the hill. As your citizens move towards the hill, the black areas of the map along their path are revealed. You can watch their progress on both the main map and the minimap. Notice that the buildings of the Canaanite village you just left are still visible, but the people are not. The people are shrouded by the fog of war. This simply means you cannot see what they are doing when no one from your civilization is there to look at them. Good, you've reached the hill. On this hill you will construct a capital building for your new city. Select one of your citizens by left-clicking on him or her. To build a capital, click on the capital button near the bottom of the screen. A ghost capital appears to help you choose a location for the building. If the ghost is tinted green, it means you can build the capital there. If it is red, it means the capital cannot be built on that spot. Try moving the ghost building around a little until it appears green. When you choose a location for the capital, left-click to place the foundation for it. Your citizen then walks to the foundation and begins constructing the capital. Constructing a building goes faster with more workers on the job. Select your other two citizens by dragging a lasso around them. Then, right-click on the construction site. Notice that the mouse pointer becomes a hammer over the site to indicate that your citizens can perform an action there. Your capital is finished. Well done. Notice that your citizens have automatically started collecting wood. This is because the trees were the closest resource to your capital. You can tell your citizens where to collect resources. Select a citizen and right-click on a different tree. Note that the pointer changed to a bucket over the resource site. When your citizens have gathered a full load, they automatically bring it to your capital. They then return to the resource site to gather some more. You can always intervene and give your citizens new instructions. Select one of your working citizens and right-click on the capital. The citizen immediately goes to the capital and drops off whatever he or she was carrying. Gathering resources is essential to the survival of your civilization. Eventually, you will gather gold, stone, and other resources in exactly the same way. Your current resource inventories are shown in the bar that runs along near the bottom of the screen. Your civilization has made a good start, but your population must grow larger and that requires food. Oh? 
To the south of your capital, you will find a forage patch. A new spot has appeared on your minimap to show you where to search for the food site. Send your citizens there to gather food from the forage patch. Yeah. It is a long walk back to the capital from the foraging site. To increase your gathering efficiency, have your citizens build a settlement next to the forage patch. Settlements are simple resource drop-off points that are constructed in exactly the same way as the capital. Just select a citizen, click the settlement button, and place the building. The wood required to build the settlement is taken from your resource inventories. Foraging for food is the most basic way to feed your people. Up to six citizens can gather from a single foraging site at once. In time, you will also learn to hunt, fish, and farm to get food. Now it is time to produce new citizens for your civilization. When you have enough food, the citizen button will become active at your capital. Simply select the capital and then click the citizen button to create a citizen. If you have enough food, you can even queue up citizens by clicking the citizen button again and again. Right-clicking the citizen button removes a citizen from the queue. Citizens can also be created at town centers. <coughs> After a moment, a new citizen appears at the capital and you can put him or her to work. To have newly created citizens automatically start working, you can set a rally point. Select the capital and click the round Place Rally Point button. Then click on the forage patch to place the rally point there. Now new citizens will immediately walk to the patch and gather food. To grow your civilization, it is important to keep your citizens busy. The Idle Citizens button below the minimap can help you locate citizens who are not working so you can give them a task. 